The best way to describe a circular economy is to compare it to today's linear one. You know, today we very much take a material out of the ground, make something out of it, and at the end of the use of that product, it, in the majority of cases, gets thrown away. Within a circular economy, you design from the outset so that not only you can keep that product in use for as long as possible, but you can also design it so when it gets to the end of its use period, you can get the materials out and feed them back into the economy. So rather than having that straight line where you're trying to slow down the use of resources, you create a circle which is restorative and regenerative by its very nature. Well, when you sail around the world on a boat, you have to take with you everything you need for your survival, but the very minimum, because the boat has to be light. And when you leave on a journey, you're two and a half thousand miles away from the nearest town in some cases, and you really understand what finite means, because what you've got on that boat is all you have, that there is no more, you can't stop and buy more food or fuel, so you watch what you have on the boat go down as you complete your voyage. And it was not long after around the world that I suddenly related that to our global economy, thinking, but hang on, it's, it's no different. We have finite resources available to us that we have once in the history of humanity, and yet we're using them up, and that speed of use is going up and up and up, and we have a growing world population, and no matter how efficient we are with those use of resources, we're going to run out at some stage. So what economic model can run in the long term? Kind of what success look like? What are we trying to aim for? What's the goal? And for me, that was very much a circular economy where you design waste and pollution out of the system, you keep products and materials in use, and you regenerate natural systems. A very core part of what the Foundation does is communicate the idea of a circular economy. Our goal is to be a catalyst, if you like. So working with higher education establishments on becoming that catalyst, so to take that idea in and have a disproportionately positive effect is exactly what we're doing here and we're working on with Exeter University and specifically here to see the Exeter Centre for Circular Economy begin and develop and be interdisciplinary throughout the university for us is wonderful because not only does Exeter learn about circular economy but we do too because we're on this journey of learning and we're trying to understand this, this huge picture of a circular economy globally and this is exactly part of that.